Dave, uh, just wondering, what, what's your plan for the, you know, when to slot in that fifth starter on the road trip? Um, right now, Eric, um, we haven't, uh, I do know Max is starting on, on Tuesday, and I think David's going Wednesday. Uh, we haven't kind of got that far yet, Eric. And then, you know, you're just sort of weighing in, like, kind of seeing how each, you know, the days and, and trying to figure out, uh, and I think it is that uh, that uh, Tuesday. It's a Sunday, yeah. The Sunday we got to figure out uh, what we're going to do for Sunday. We haven't made that decision yet. And uh, we haven't. It's been a couple of days, but Jimmy Nelson. When, when did the uh, when did that news come down that he needed the you know the, the procedures and how yeah. did he sort of take that? It, it's obviously very difficult for him. Um, there was a, a few days ago, three four days ago, we had him up um and uh getting ready and the come in the game and um it just gave way just felt something and we had to shut him down uh brought victor gonzalez in the game at that point in time so it was that game and uh got the testing and uh i don't know when i think i know schedule surgery schedule i'm not sure what day but uh yeah we we, we feel very very bad for him because he's been a big part of this and uh, I guess also, is there is there an update on uh, Gavin Lux? Like, is he still in Arizona? Gavin is on his way, I think, today uh, to join that OKC team. Thanks, Dave. Yep. Yeah. Next question is from Juan Toribio. Go ahead. Hey, Dave. It looks like Canago got out of yesterday okay. It's the plan maybe for Tuesday activation for him? Yes, that's the plan. And I'm guessing with all of these kind of injuries that you get to have them dog, it's Clevenger now. It's kind of it's gonna be a welcome addition to, for, for your bullpen. Just to add him. It is. Um, just to have Corey initially saw him in spring training and having him early was great. Great uh, on the field in the clubhouse. He's a pro, and um, so now uh, to get him back on Tuesday, it's like we get an acquisition. So um, we're we're excited to have him back. And what's kind of kind of the severity of for Gonzalez and Clevenger? Um, well, Clev, it's it's oblique ish. Um, so how long that timing is, I, I really can't even speak to. Uh, you would imagine it's going to be a couple weeks. Uh, Victor, it's been some uh, tendonitis, uh, something in his front right knee. Um, so that's kind of it's his land leg. So which is certainly makes sense as far as inconsistencies. Um, how long that's been going on, I can't really speak to. Um, so I think with Victor and Clev, two weeks is probably fair, um, you know, as a safe bet. And then with Walker, he, I mean, he's in the middle of a terrific season. Um, he's obviously had good seasons before this, but what is there anywhere that you can kind of pinpoint where he's grown the most um, this year? Um. I, I, I don't know. I think there's there's a lot of areas that Walker's grown and which speaks to his mature, maturation. Um, on the pitching side, just he's he's sequencing uh, really well. He's commanding the baseball really well. And even when he doesn't have his best stuff, uh, he finds a way to get through starts. Um, he's constantly learning and growing, um, understanding what we have going on as far as on the field injuries he's got to take the torch and step up and he's done done uh done so so um you know it's good when he takes the ball i expect to win every time he's out there thanks dave next question is from david Vassay. go ahead hey dave i know uh trey turner has played with guys that have a lot of talent and can hit the ball out of the ballpark but have you had any discussions with him when he's on base, when the appropriate time is to try to steal with uh, so many guys in your lineup that can hit the ball out of the ballpark? What's the balance there? Um, I want Trey to use his gut, his baseball instincts. Uh, he has the green light and um, be aggressive. Um, so, yeah, guys can hit the ball to the ballpark, but it's still easy to, easier to get a base hit to drive and run than hit the ball to the ballpark. So, um I, I love his uh, intensity, his focus. Very smart baseball player. Have you you know him in San Diego in the organization? Are his baseball instincts some of the best you've seen? Um, so, 
Um, I'm still learning. I'm had him a little bit in San Diego. Uh, obviously saw him from the other side a uh, handful of times each year. So I'd like to say yes. The easy answer is yes. But uh, Mookie is up there for me as far as uh, the best baseball instincts I've seen on the, on the bases. Uh, Robbie Alomar is a guy that I was around. Um, Sean Green is another guy. So I'm still learning, Trey. Okay, thank you.